Good morning. I've had this stuff for a months and I have just with being out of town for a while I have not got this video done. So I finally have time today uh, to go through and grease this chipper, get everything set up and you can kind of check out what lock and lube is all about. They sent me this stuff like I said a while back. We can check it out now. We'll go through, let's grease the chipper um, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. So Oh yeah, before I go, what, this is the grease I'm using. I get this question all the time. I'm using this stuff here, okay? A lot of people ask me what we use for grease. I got this and I'm running the Milwaukee. Now we got this over a year ago, a year and a half ago. Um, and this is really nice. It is very nice. I've used a lot of different electric grease guns. Um, this one is about the nicest one I've used as far as on this chipper and everything. It works the best for me. Um, so here we go. Let's do this done. Let's do this done. Before I forget, they make... Uh, oh, where'd my rag go? Before I forget, they make two different sizes of these. Um, and because I was gone so long, somebody else was driving the uh, truck that had these in there. So they did send me a small one and a large one. Um, and the small one somehow grew legs. It's gone, nowhere to be found. So all I have is the large one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I says, uh, where's the small one at when I got back? And they're like, uh, nobody ever seen it. So, uh, four kids, uh, I, I hear that a lot. So, anyways, <laughs> I don't have the small one, but I have the big one. And, uh, let's keep rolling. Okay, one tube in for the video. I have used this more than just for this video. I just wanted to kind of be clear. I don't like to try to use something one time and then give you guys, tell you about it without using it more than once. So I've used this a little bit. Um, they've used it on the skitters, so, but the first tube so far on our little excursion has been flawless. Now let me be real clear. The lock on the lock and lube, it locks. <laughs> so, uh... That right there works really good. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, it gets on the zerts easy, and there's just very minimal uh, grease we got coming out of here. And some of the zerts need to be changed on this thing. That's some of it too. So, but so far, it's worked really well.
that's everything greased on this. I didn't record absolutely every zert on here, just so everybody knows. But what I do is I grease the boom. Now I gotta fire it up, spin it around, and do the grapple. So we'll do that real quick. Here's where I'm having troubles. I got a greaser zert right there. I can't get to it. I can get to it, but I don't have the, oh, maybe I, oh, I did it. It got in there, wow. Wow, we did it. It's kind of hard because you gotta the trigger there is a little difficult but we made it happen and there's another one right inside there it's gonna be hard to get to too let's see if we can do it see if we can spin our hand around in there oh we got her the nice part here's the real nice part is once you get on it's on you don't have to hold it and there you go. There you go. Once you get her on, you're on. Okay. Now we got some up here. Way up in the top of that cylinder. That one might not work. Too long. Here's one here. Oh, yeah, got it on that one. Got it on that one there. Oop, that one come off. It's a little difficult on that one. How's that there? There she go. Oh no, she popped up. That one's hard because it's hard for it. That's a old cylinder. The new, the new cylinder is in the tool truck to get replaced. That's a makeshift deal there. I couldn't get on this one here, this one here either. Oh, come on. I couldn't get on this one, and I can't get on this one or this one. Uh, they poke down, and they, there's a 45 degree angle for some reason on that one. Uh, I can't get on this one, this one, or this one. I gotta move that greaser. So I know what you're thinking, John. How did it work? So I know what you're thinking. How to work? That's the big question. Well, let's get you straightened out here, cause there we. Eh. Is that better? So lock and lube. This thing was very handy. Uh, it it really works, especially if you have a couple. Of, you ever have those grease shirts that just seem to leak around them? This thing will grab right on them and won't leak. Real nice, real nice thing they got going here. Uh, really would have liked to have the small one because it would have got in there, I believe, for the grapple zerts there. It would have gotten go. It would have gotten and got those. <laughs> uh, that sounded horrible. It would have greased those pins. So, yeah, it just, uh, that was the only problem I had with this. And it's not really a problem. It's a problem. If you got really hard places to get into, this might not do it. The small one will work better. Um, I don't have the small one. Did I mention somebody lost it? Uh, they decided to clean the truck out. You ever have that happen? Somebody cleans the work truck out and then half the stuff's gone and you don't know where it is? 
Um, half the stuff is still in somebody else's house. They took it out of the truck and put it in their house. Can't imagine who'd do that. Um, anyways, I hear a truck coming. Perfect timing. So, this is very handy, um, but I probably, I'll be honest with you guys, I'll probably be taking this off from here. Uh, oh, log truck. I'll probably be taking this off just due to the fact that it's easier to get in the grapple. It was pretty hard to get this thing in a couple of those zerts. Uh, just for that reason. If I didn't have to do that and had to do the rest of the chipper, I would leave this on here because it is really nice. Um, but there is my honest opinion. If you have some easy stuff to get to, this thing would be handy. Um, it's very nice. Does work very well. Just in those really tight, crooked spots where you got to go up, under, around, and through. A little more difficult. But, anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Thanks so much for Lock and Lube uh, for letting me try their products. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with the product at all. It works great. But I did screw up one thing. And this is always, ever since I started working here, how many ever years and years and years ago it was, is right here. This thing. You leave this out on this grease gun, and it'll tell you how much grease is left in it. You know what I mean? I didn't empty it. One thing that was always, it always happened to me whenever I grabbed the grease gun, I know you guys have it too, it's always completely empty, but I left a little bit in there for somebody else. There's, oh, a little less than half left. So, whoever uses this next, you're welcome. I left some in here. Just so you know, when I grabbed it this morning, it was completely empty and I had to throw a new tube in there. So, thanks so much for watching. Uh, check out these guys. If you're interested in their product, check them out. It's worth a check out if you got a bunch of greasing to do. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks so much. It was my pleasure. You guys all have a good day. Thanks for watching for the fifth or sixth time. I don't know what to do. Anyhow. Did I mention that somebody lost the small one? I can't remember. Anyways. Grabs right on there. It's legit. Getting it done on the old 535 Caterpillar.